Machu Picchu, Peru. This stone citadel of the Inca civilization was built high in the Andes Mountains around 1450 AD, but was suddenly and mysteriously abandoned roughly a century later. Mainstream scholars contend the construction of Machu Picchu was led by Emperor Pachacutec and took thousands of men working decades to complete. But ancient astronaut theorists suggest that the precise construction, the transportation of massive blocks, and the Inca's own accounts all point to a very different explanation for Machu Picchu, that it was built with the help of otherworldly beings. Emperor Pachacutec was believed to have had a special bond with the god Viracocha. Pachacutec, in the days leading up to the great battle against the Chanco, he takes kind of a retreat. He goes to a lake and out of the sky drops this piece of metal into the lake. When he fishes it out of the lake, it's a mirror and he sees an image in the mirror. This supernatural creature in the mirror tells him, I am your father. You will win many battles in your lifetime, this one included. The image is actually Veracocha, the creator deity. And then as Pachacutec stood with his vastly smaller army, these giant megalithic stones came to life and became his army and crushed the Chanka. Pachacutec actually had the power of Viracocha behind him. It makes one wonder if, in fact, this was extraterrestrial technology. Could the story of Pachacutec levitating massive stones be true? And might the mirror that fell from the sky have been some type of alien technology? Ancient astronaut theorists say yes and suggest a new discovery at Machu Picchu may reveal what happened to this otherworldly device. French engineer David Crespi was vacationing in Machu Picchu in 2010 when he discovered that at the bottom of one of the main buildings, there seemed to be a doorway purposely sealed up with rocks. In August of 2011, he reached out to Thierry Jamal, a French archaeologist that has been studying Peru and the Incan Empire for more than 15 years. Within a month, Thierry started his own investigation with local archaeologists and specialists in funerary sites. Thierry and radar technician Ricardo Hamada took a scan from above the blocked entrance with ground-penetrating radar. The image on the radar detector reveals a large cavity, and the broken lines indicate there may also be stairs leading even further down into the earth. Other equipment detected that there was metals inside this hidden chamber. Gold, silver, and other types of metallic objects suggesting very strongly that we're dealing with some kind of a tomb. Although Thierry has confirmed Crespi's suspicions that the odd structure was an entrance sealed off at some point by the Incas, the Peruvian authorities have since banned his return to the site for further investigations. All of the iconographic and archaeological elements show us that this is all associated with the mausoleum of Pachacutec. Maybe the most important archaeological treasure ever found in Machu Picchu. Could the tomb of Pachacutec lie beyond these rocks? And is it possible, as ancient astronaut theorists suggest, that it might also contain advanced technology, the so-called magic mirror, that was said to have been given to Pachacutec by the creator god Viracocha?